Hey everyone, so today I'm doing a little get ready with me. Um, it's currently half past two in the afternoon, but I have nowhere to be today and I washed my hair, so I just figured I'd do a little get ready with me because what I'm gonna do now is exactly what I would do if it was the morning. So yeah, I'm basically just gonna do my hair, do my makeup, um, and just sort of talk you more through what I do rather than it being like a whole like time-lapse thing So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush my hair Which I brush my hair with conditioner In the shower So it does tend to be quite easy to brush when um, I get out the shower Some bits will be a bit tangly, but most of it is fine Also while I'm brushing my hair if you haven't done so already, then please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any further videos. I think, I don't know when this is going up. I think it's going to go up on like Saturday, potentially. I'm not actually sure. Yes, my L'Oreal Professional Mythic Oil. I love this stuff. This is the stuff that my hairdresser used to use on me. And I used to buy it from the hairdressers. And then she's now on, like, she works from home. Like, I go to her house. But I found this on Look Fantastic. Oh, it's just my favourite thing because... If you can see, it's like liquidy oil. Sometimes with hair oils, they're very like thick and gloopy. And I just love to smell of it. I use two pumps on wet hair and one pump on dry hair. Obviously my hair's kind of in the middle, but it's fine. And then I take my hair dryer and just blow dry my hair. This isn't a Dyson by the way. This is just like off Amazon, but I really like it because it's just really compact and it's just handy. Because big hair dryers just get on my nerves. My hair actually dries super quickly, like it really does. Hagrid vibes! Amazing! Okay, my hair is now dry. I'm pretty sure I just dried that in like six minutes. Like it is really quick to dry my hair. It doesn't take long at all. Sometimes when I'm straightening it, I find bits that are a bit damp, but it's fine. Now I've got my GHD straighteners. These are the Platinum Plus, I think is what they're called. Um, I got these in like Feb 2019. So I'm just gonna part my hair. I have these like little front bits that I got cut in. I know that you could say they're like curtain bangs. I don't think they're quite thick enough to be curtain bangs. Um, but I just got them like cut shorter because I really like them. Because with my hair, because I have quite a lot of it, when I um, straighten it, I just find that it feels like it's very like flat against my face. Um, and I just use a fine tooth comb because it really just gets... A lot of the hair I find that when I use a, a comb it really like I don't know it just it feels quicker to do it gets every piece of hair because it's really finely brushed um with the style I'm doing today I don't need it to be super like properly straightened it can be a little bit more choppy and you'll see why later um in the video okay so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to go off and just straighten the rest of my hair because there really isn't any point in me showing you this because my the hairstyle I'm doing is not straight so um, I just have to straighten it for the style I'm doing okay so I'm back I have straightened my hair as you can see it's quite like a puffy straight it's not like how I would straighten it if I was going out so next up what I would do is I would do my makeup because because I have just straightened my hair I don't like to do the curly thing straight away I like to give it a moment to cool down and then I will do the curls afterwards so I'm going to go on to my makeup now and obviously this is a get ready with me so the makeup is going to be like my super natural makeup you've probably seen this before um, there's definitely some products that are different, but it might be very similar to what I did in February, to be completely honest. But I'm just going to start by putting my Revolution Mattify Primer. I love this primer, which is the Revolution Conceal and Define in F10. So what I do is I mix my Revolution Colour Stay in 180 Sand Beige. I just pump that. It's actually getting really dark. I'm happy that you can see me on camera because in person it's actually quite dark. But I might have to put my mirror lamp on that I'm using just because 
it's kind of a bit I, I can see me obviously but it's just you know when you want to see detail of your face and I can't see detail and I'm just gonna take my beauty blender I'll normally wet it but if it's like a day after I've wet it and it's still kind of big I will normally just spritz it with setting spray so I love this combination of foundation um, because the Revlon color stay is slightly too light for me and then the obviously the F10 is too, way too dark um, but I like it because the F10 is like an orangey colour and it just and it's got really good coverage so it really just the two together look really pretty but sometimes I put too much of the F10 on so I have to go on top of like a bit more of the colour stay like as you can see it's not quite right <laughs> Okay, and then what I'll do is I will use my, I mix two concealers. I use my L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer, which is desperately running out. So I don't even know why I'm still using it because there's barely any left. But I would highly recommend this. This is really good. And then I've recently got my hands back on the Collection Last Imperfection. And I love this. Um, it's just got really good coverage. And it's better now because there's not just four shades. There's like actually quite a few shades in it now i'm just gonna put a little bit of concealer here and here just to lighten it a little bit even this isn't like i like my under eyes to look flawless like they're not to be a single bit of like darkness and i've never found the concealer like, even to this day that's done that so i'm gonna take my xx revolution bronzer in inspire this is their cream bronzer and I just use a brush sometimes I will use like a brush to swipe it on and then I'll blend it but I just really like doing it like this I really like this one though this one's really nice and natural I'd highly recommend this is the lightest shade I wasn't sure whether to get the lightest or the middle one but this one's so pretty, so I'm so happy I went for this one. Then I will just go ahead and use my XX Revolution little cream uh, blusher. I tried a new cream blusher last night. It was the NYX one. I really liked it. I actually have a few more that I need to try. Um, but I hated this when I first tried it. But actually, I quite like it now. Um, you have to use a... I would recommend a beauty blender. It's very moussey. So if I'm with a brush, the brush picks up way too much product. So I just bounce my beauty blender in it and then just, I feel like it gives a really natural blush. Cause I, like I said, I powder my entire face. So even if I use cream products, I have to use powder products of bronzer and blusher too, because the powder I, like when I powder my face, it obviously, gets rid of some of the pigmentation because it's getting covered and now a powder so like i said because obviously sometimes i mix it and it's a bit darker i use this powder because this powder has is quite light so it just helps balance it all out so and i use my bh cosmetics v1 brush i recently have got into new powder brushes um i used to use my real techniques bold metals powder brush but I've got into this one now and I quite like it and then the next thing I use which is probably a bit weird but because like I was explaining about my under eyes I just don't like there to be any darkness so I use my Max Factor Face Finity Pump Up Foundation I've got it in shade 1 and 2 but normally I use shade 1 for under my eyes and I just use the sponge and I literally just go like this and I don't know if you can like see the difference but it just this one's like, I don't know if it's showing on camera, but this one's just so much more like blurred under my eyes. And it just, when I move, this side you still can see the dark underneath, whereas this one's so much better. I don't know if it comes up on camera, but in person, you can definitely see that difference. I'm going to be using the Mislin Barbados Bay Be Beach Please Bronzing and Contouring Powder. Um, this is, the shade is Barbados Babe. I love this bronzer. It is actually, I've just noticed, I just saw a little reflection. Am I hitting pan on it? Oh, I have. I've hit pan, like this tiny little dot in the middle. Look. Um, I got this this year, I think. I absolutely love this. This is one of my favourite bronzers. Um, I also love the Chocolate Soleil one from Too Faced, which I've just repurchased. But this has overtaken Hula for me. I absolutely love it. I think I got it from Superdrug, so I recommend it. 
It's so good. I absolutely love it. I also love this brush. This is the uh, BH Cosmetics V2 brush. I love. I've started using this for bronzer, and I absolutely adore it. Do you know what the amazing thing with natural lighting is? It's actually really dark in my room, but it's not that bad on camera. On camera, it's actually really soft, nice lighting. Then for bronzer, I mean blusher, I use the Mac. This is Desert Rose. I'm almost certain. I love it. Um, I use this or the XX Revolution one. It depends because this one's matte, the other one isn't. It just depends what mood I'm in. And this is a be the Beauty Bay 105 brush. I've just recently started using this for blush. I don't know if I like it yet, this this brush, but I think it's it's really soft and it's just a cute little brush to use. So I just have started using it. And still, I'm still using my trusty Mary Luminizer for my blush, for my highlighter. I absolutely love this highlighter. Um, the reason I bought it was because of Emily Cannon. So if anyone watches her, this is why I bought her this. Um, and I've hit pan on it, which I feel like hitting pan on a highlighter is quite a big deal because with highlighter you do you don't like you don't use as much as you do bronzer. And then I go on to my brows. So for my brows, I use my, I don't know what this is. I have a sneaky suspicion it's called like the Revolution Microblading Pencil. I don't know if it is, but it's the only one they have with the gold bits. This is Revolution Pro, I'm pretty sure. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna set in spray myself. I use the Revolution Super Fix Super Hold Sets Misting Spray, Ultra Matte Finish with Aloe and Vitamin E. I love this and it's also because it's in like a tin, it's super cold. I'm just gonna do my eyebrows. I literally just fill them in like normal. I'm gonna have to bring this in front of me though because I I can't see what I'm doing and I'm gonna have to turn the light on. It's like I don't mind the light being on but it's just it washes me out a bit too much. Okay. I use my Benefit 3D Brow Tones. And then I just... Okay, now I am going to take just a Beauty Bay 202 brush and my bronzer. And I literally just put some bronzer on my um, eyelids. That is all I do. But yeah, I don't do anything particularly with my bronzer. I literally just stick some on my eye. There is no technique. I just kind of just do it. And I just keep going until I like it. I would, if you're someone who wants just a bit of something, I would just highly recommend using your bronzer. And it looks really good because you've got it on your face already, so it kind of just like goes in well. Now, next up, I was debating if I want to do this today, only because it's getting dark. But I am going to do it because if I have time, I will always choose to do this. So I like to use the Divine Duo um, Magic Eyeliner. This is the one that's um, an eyeliner and a lash glue. Personally, I just really like it because I've tried other um, eyeliners, like felt ones, and the issue I find every single time is while I'm using it, it starts to dry up, and then when I use it next time, it'll be fine, but then as I'm using it, it starts to dry up because I've got makeup on my face, and it's just the most infuriating thing. If you've got any recommendations for felt liners that don't dry out like as you're using them, and also are like waterproof then please let me know because i really like doing winged liner with felt liners i start with the wing i normally do like a little line and sort of fill it in and then go across and then i do the same on the other side and then i will start making it bigger and bigger so i just put like a line like that and then i'll build onto that because sometimes the line at first it looks actually quite long but then once you do all the other stuff it's like oh it's actually quite short so Okay, I don't love this, but we're just going to stick with it because I can't make it any better and um, I used to do my hair. So I'm just going to put my mascara on and I use the um, Maybelline Lash Sensational, my like go-to, absolutely adore. 
and then just some lash curlers and I'm gonna curl my lashes and put my mascara on. So next thing I'm going to do is do my lips and this is the last makeup item and then we can quickly do my hair. Um, I use the Kylie Lip Kit in Autumn, that's been my go to at the moment, that's the one I've been using like every time I do my makeup, um, it's between this or like Posy K. I've just been really really liking Autumn so I'm about to put that on. Again I'm going to have to put this light on because I can't, it's like on here it isn't that bad lighting but in person, I honestly can't really see what I'm doing. <laughs> it's that dark. So I need to put this on to be able to see. Also, I was tell you a little, my opinion on these, is the lip liners are insane. They do not come off, I'm telling you. I thought, I mean, I swear these claim like you can eat and stuff and they don't come off. The, lip, lip, the liquid lipstick does. If you eat, it will come off. Yeah, if you wanna know how these liquid lipsticks last, they are decent, but when you first put them on, like right now, once it dries, it will be like transfer proof, there'll be nothing. But if you go and get like a Starbucks and start drinking, you'll get lipstick on your cup. Um, and if you eat, it's gonna come off as well. But I will say the lip liners, like around the outside of your lips, stay put, like it's not gonna move. Then I'll just use my setting spray again. So I've got my, I'm gonna have to leave this on for you. Um, I've got my curler. <laughs> this only takes about 10 minutes, so we're gonna do it quickly. And then I'm just gonna brush my hair out. I actually can't see what I'm doing in there now. So the first thing I do while I'm letting that heat up is I get my hairspray. And also, if you're wondering where I got this hairstyle from, it's um, from Emma Marie. Um, we'll look her up on YouTube. I'll just put hairspray over my hair. Now with this hairstyle, I love it. The only really, really annoying thing with it is I have to do it, if I do it, I've got to do it every day, like the curly part of this hairstyle. It's quite annoying. And I just brush it out, I brush that hairspray into my hair. I take just the front piece, I need to be careful because I actually can't see myself. And then I go underneath, like this, and just hold it for a little bit. Just so then it has that volume a little bit. I, I do go over it again, so it's fine. And I just do a normal curl. All, I, all of these curls are done backwards. And then I just take, what I do is I do four bits. So like one, two, three, four. This will work differently depending on your hair. I have layers. So obviously when I grab this bit, this is a layer. It's not the length, so it's fine. But it does obviously mean that I have to do more bits. I probably would say I do about 10 strands of hair on each side, probably. Maybe like eight. And then I do one last bit that's like at the back. Because, and I try and make it like a decent chunk because otherwise there's nothing at the back of your head. Because <laughs> obviously, so obviously for this look, if you go and watch Emma Marie's video where she does this look, uh, she explains how she does her hair. You'll notice that she doesn't have to straighten it first. That's because her hair is naturally more straight, but for my hair it's not. So obviously this looks ridiculous. So then what I do is I'll just reach for any straight bits. So I normally will do this bit here because it's a front piece. And then I will sew for like, you see how between these two there's like, obviously because of my layers it's high up. So then I will grab, I can't see what I'm doing. I'll grab a long bit here. But I won't go from the top, I will go from about here, like halfway. And then I do the same thing again. I'll grab a bit here. It really, there's no technique to it. You just, apart from the top, I'd say the top bit, you should do it like that. But then for the underneath, it's just wherever your hair needs it, like that. And then I do one or two, it really depends how I feel. I'll do like an underneath bit. Because what you can do as well, remember, is you can do this, and then once you swish it all out, you can always curl an, an extra bit. Like, that's sometimes what I do. And I do the same thing on this side. I just, I like this because some a lot of the hair is straight. 
which means that it really keeps the length and it's also way quicker to do if i sit and curl my hair like bear in mind i'm talking so it's been nearly 20 minutes i've been doing this for but when i'm not filming it this takes me about i think it takes about 12 minutes this is really quick whereas if i sit and i part my hair and curl every bit of hair it takes me about 40 minutes um so this is just so much quicker because i'm only curling about like 20 pieces of hair right so now what i do i'll leave the curlers on just in case because i don't know if i'm going to want to add some curls anywhere i get a pump of my oil and then i don't know if you're going to see but i tip my head upside down i'm going to try and show you but if you can't see you can't see okay i tip over and i just i do this i literally do that underneath my hair it's very puffy today isn't it jeez so this is the finished look it looks a bit of a craziness but obviously it does drop that is me my little get ready with me sorry that this has kind of been crazy and the, this has probably been really long and the lighting has got changed so much it literally went from being blinded to then now it's pitch black outside so this took me so long i thought it was going to take me like an hour it's taken me nearly two hours so at least this video is now done um and you got to see how I do my hair and makeup. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video, then please sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And let me know any ideas you have down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.